I put timestamps in the description so you guys can check out a specific section to save time. I am approaching 1000 matches played and I have reached champion with Bako alone. In this video I will be talking about the changes that have been made to Bako, how I have been playing him, and what you can do to play the updated Bako. Updated Bako Builds In this section I will be going over what battle rights I take and explain when to use the build, and how to use it effectively. I go over my protection build and my CC sustain build in the original Bako guide. Since the update I replaced adrenaline slam with shield dash and wall slam is replaced with dizzying dash, use my protection build with or against melee characters and the CC sustain build when fighting a combination of range, support, and melee characters who are easy to hit with heroic charge. Check out my original guide if you wish to hear more about these two builds. My newest build, Burst Damage Mobility, includes both Dizzying Dash and Adrenaline Slam for the 35 damage combo. Shield Dash can be used to disengage, reposition, or simply weaken and deal 4 damage. Use this build versus any composition with a lot of mobility. If you catch them with a dash into a wall and auto, you'll deal quite a bit of damage, and you can poke with axes from a distance to pressure them using the snare to close distances slowly. I do not recommend taking Mammoth Stomp unless you have a support on your team. Just get rid of the Red Axe and make sure you wait for them to use any abilities that would help them avoid your charge. Battle Rights In this section I go over a couple of Battle Rights since the change. Shield Dash, Adrenaline Slam, and Dizzying Dash. Dizzying Dash not only provides 6 bonus damage on Bako's E, but it provides more crowd control for the basic E and additional damage on EXE. When slamming people into a wall with basic E, they are now snared by 15% like they would be if hit by EXE, which helps teammates hit them with skill shots for the next 2.5 seconds they are slowed for. And it is just helpful to have when it comes to protecting your teammates because it makes it harder for the enemies to continue focusing them when they're slowed. Adrenaline Slam is not necessary unless you are facing very mobile characters and you need the burst damage. Bako excels in sustained combat damage. When fighting one person for extended periods of time, Bako will always win if played correctly. Landing axes is crucial, and if enemies you are facing are almost never close enough for you to fully charge an axe and hit them with it, you need the burst damage. That is why I feel it should only be used when facing Xander, Jumong, Jay, Crow, maybe Shifu, Freya, and Pearl when they are on the same team as each other. And finally, Shield Dash. In my original guide, I never truly expressed how important this was. When used correctly, it is a must-have. The recast dash on Bulwark can be thought of as an additional ability and should be used as such. To demonstrate this, I will show three different uses of Bulwark. Beta abilities, reposition, and weaken after stun. Weekend After Stun may sound pretty simple, but it is not. Almost every Baco player I see will use the Weekend as soon as the enemy is stunned, which is not good. By the time they are out of stun from Bulwark, Weekend will be just about over. To use Bulwark Recast properly, use Bulwark to block one ability you see coming, hit Cancel to drop Bulwark immediately after the attack, then either use Bulwark to dash to the side of an enemy and bait the counter, Dash backwards to avoid enemy abilities, or weaken at the end of the stun to make sure they cannot trade blows with you. If you master this power, you will realize how important it, it truly is in every game. Bulwark stun melee attack cancel into 1 or 2 M1s depending on timing. EXE into X throw. Bulwark stun melee attack cancel into 1 M1, reactivate Bulwark, then Wall Slam, M1, then they cannot return damage because of Weekend. I will put a link in the description of this guide to my Discord. If you have any questions or you want to play a game or two, you can just message me directly there and I will get back to you. If you're interested in hearing everything I have to say about Baco, check out my original guide, subscribe to see more guides on future updates and montages, and good luck in the arena.